Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 8 of the Lico Day Challenge, and we have the week 2 premium challenge soon too. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So given a root node range sum of PST, given a root node of binary search and two integers low and high, return the sum of values, okay. Um, I mean, there are a couple of ways you can think about doing it, but the, the worst case is still going to be... Um, uh, that first search unless you pre-process the tree. If you pre-process the tree, this is basically where eh, you have some idea of how much, um, uh, I mean, this is where a, a segment tree actually comes into play or some status structure similar to some segment tree where you basically get early termination and kind of be able to get the left, get the right, and then like a prefix difference or something like that, right? So there are definitely things you can do, but this is an easy problem. This is a problem that, um, uh, yeah, it's just very, um, you know, you, you only get one, one run, one pass, one, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, it definitely helps that, you can, I mean, you can definitely certainly start um, a little bit better, but the worst case is still going to be the same. And, and you know, in a real world, of course, you can make your algo um, still input and output sensitive, right? Um, you could still optimize that on that dimension, but uh, but for competitive, um, it's worth, you know, eh, competitive is probably usually not worth the extra complexity, but for, at least for an interview, maybe it's worth pointing it out, uh, especially what an output sensitive algorithm is. But uh, uh, do I guess uh, depends how you want to find output sensitive, but uh, but yeah, uh, that's what I have for the, the algo part. Otherwise, this is a very basic um, tree problem. Tree comes in to play a lot in interviews uh, in general, just because you know there's a very recursive structure and people like recursion for some reason. Uh, and you know who likes recursion? Uh, people who likes recursion. Anyway, uh, yeah. So let's just get started and then we can kind of think of, we can, uh, yeah, we can just do it then, right? So then here we have maybe, um, you know, uh, how do we want to do it? Eh, you could write in, uh, in order. You could do your favorite traverso. Today I'm going to use uh, in order and then otherwise, uh, do, 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 right? In order, uh, maybe just return zero. Note that left, in order, note that right. So yeah, maybe total is equal to zero. Total do 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 do, um, and then we return total. We have to do the actual in order part, so that's right here, and that is basically if node dot value is in between low and high inclusive, right? Um, then we can add node dot value, and then yeah, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, you could do some optimizations here, but. Um, you know, it's fine. Uh, it's, it's, there's just going to be linear time, uh, linear space, and maybe some of that you could say height of, the, uh, of H space, the height of the tree for space. But yeah, um, but you know, in the worst case without pre-processing and, you know, if you are doing this query many times for the same tree, you would probably want to uh, pre-process. Otherwise, you know, you're going to sum up every node anyway in the worst case, right? So that's all I have for this one. It's a quick one, but hopefully it is a good enough one. Uh, that's all I have for today. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. Have a great week, everybody, coming up. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.